on. <laughs> ah! A mean moth and a friendly firefly. <laughs> Oh, man, we're all wet. Me too. <laughs> hey, now, what's so funny? <laughs> Sorry, but Cindy, you look like a mouse drenched to the skin. <laughs> what? Ben, it's your fault we're in this trouble in the first place. Yeah, I know, Cindy. Sorry. Sheesh. Come on, take the lead. We have to go back to Dr. Brilliant's camp. All right, Cindy. I think the sun is going to set soon. Really? Cindy, there's another butterfly. A butterfly? I don't think that's a butterfly. What was it called? That's not a butterfly, but it looks exactly like a butterfly. Now I know more about insects than you. <laughs> I don't know about that. Right. I'm not a butterfly. You're not. I'm a moth. The structure of my body is basically the same as the butterfly, but only a part of it is covered in scales and my wings are smaller compared to my body. And most of our larvae go through the pupa stage and undergo a complete metamorphosis. Meta. A metamorphosis is when an egg becomes a larva and then turns into a cocoon to finally become an adult moth. Oh. Uh, how could you stopping me mid-speech? Sorry, sorry. Anyway, we're nocturnal, so we are mostly seen at night. A lot of my friends like to gather around a light source. Oh, and I like flower nectar or tree sap. But sometimes our baby caterpillars hunt small insects and eat them. Some need care, like the caterpillar of the silkworm. But I guess that is to extract all the thread. Anyway, we moths are a bit different from the butterflies. First, our antennae. Butterflies have club-shaped antennae, but our moths have various shapes, with cone patterns or sawtooth patterns. There are exceptions, of course. The butterfly sits with its wings folded, but ours are spread. And, as I said before, we're mostly nocturnal. Anyway, I will go now. Farewell! Bye! I'm getting a bit cold now that it's dark. <sighs> Me too. Ben, let's light a fire. A fire? Wait! We have no matches or a lighter. Really? Oh, I have a good idea. We can rub sticks together to light a fire. We lit it! It's so warm. Huh? What's wrong? It's getting darker, Cindy. What do we do? But there must be something we can do, Ben. Oh, no. by bioluminescence. Bioluminescence? That means a creature is making light on its own. Right. But you should not try to touch it. When you do, it might smell unpleasant. Sometimes I'm called a glowfly. Some of my friends do not eat anything. Of course, there are some who eat flower pollen and honey. We are mostly active in the early evening, flying above the fields, showing off a yellow light. I look for a mate by sending this light like a signal. The females who have finished mating lay eggs on grass roots, moss, or moist soil. 
The larvae that hatch from the eggs eat snails and other insects. Some of them even shine when they're inside their mothers. <laughs> Isn't it really amazing? Anyway, I'm going to go mate now. Okay, bye. Oh, don't go. Why? What do you mean? Why? A firefly will keep things light when it gets even darker. A long time ago, scholars studied at night by the light of a firefly. Oh, right. Then, Cindy, why don't we just catch one? Oh? Yep. Wow! It's become so much brighter! Then, we should find shelter until it is light again. Okay, Cindy. Over there. What do you think? Oh, that's a good idea. Let's go. Cindy, what do you think will happen to us now? Huh? I miss Mom and Dr. Brilliant so much. Then, don't worry so much. I am certain we will be able to find Dr. Brilliant. Yeah! Yeah! It's dark now. I wonder if they're okay. Yeah. <laughs>